welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the rotate command. All right, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to actually rotate this middle letter E um, a positive 45 degrees, and we're going to rotate the end letter E here a negative 45 degrees. Um, we're going to use a little bit different base points just to show you how the base point works in the rotate command, um, and then we'll throw some dimensions on. Um, after we check our viewport scale. Okay, all right, so let's get started with rotate. So rotate is up here on the modify panel, um, and I'm going to pick rotate. And notice that the first thing that rotate asks us, uh, like most modify commands, is it asks us to select objects. All right, so I'm going to select this middle letter E here. Okay, and when I'm done selecting, I'm going to right click, which is the same thing as an enter. And it's going to ask me for a base point. Now, I'm going to use this lower left corner as my base point. Um, and what a base point is in rotate is the pivot point. Um, it's the point which the object will pivot about. All right, so um, I'm going to pick that lower left corner. And I have ortho on. I'm going to take ortho off just to kind of show you. Um, you can see how the uh, drawing pivots about that base point. Okay. Now, of course, I could pick anywhere with the mouse, um, but I actually want to rotate this 45 degrees. Okay. So a positive 45 degrees is counterclockwise. So let's just type in 45, and it should go in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, and there it did. All right, um, now I'm going to try it again over here on this one here. So I'm going to right click to repeat the rotate command. I'm going to select the objects. Okay, uh, when I'm done selecting, I'm going to right click. And instead of using the inside corner as a base point, um, I'm going to use this lower right hand corner as a base point. Okay. And you'll see again how the object is pivoting around that point. Okay, now I want it to go this way 45 degrees. So that's actually a negative direction um, because it's clockwise. So I'm going to type in negative 45 degrees. I don't need the degree thing, I'm just for negative 45. Okay, and there um, the object has rotated a negative 45 degrees. Okay, so now that my drawing is done, I'm going to check the, the viewport scale that works best with this drawing in a layout tab. All right, so let's go to our layout tab. Okay, and here in my layout tab, I have an 8.5 by 11 border with a nice viewport um, hole right here in the middle. All right, and I'm going to just zoom out a little bit to kind of get the drawing in there centered. I'm going to come over to my viewport scalar bar and I'm going to pick one to one. Okay, um, and one to one looks like it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to pick one to two. Okay, one to two works much better. All right, so I'm going to keep that scale. So now that I'm happy with the scale, I'm going to double click outside the viewport so that I'm now in paper space. That way, if I roll my mouse wheel, or do anything, the, the whole paper moves, okay, and the viewport scale is is safe, so to speak, okay. So I'm going to go back to model, and now I know that my um, viewport scale is 1 to 2, I'm going to change my scaler here in model space to be 1 to 2, okay, and that will make sure that my annotative dimensions come in at the correct scale. Okay, so let's do some, um, a couple of linear dimensions here. And I should actually change to the dimension layer. Let me force that on the dimension layer. Okay. All right. Now, um, I'd like to put a dimension or two here. And this is going to need an aligned dimension. Okay, so um, over here on my toolbar, I have aligned, and it's also under the ribbon here. There is aligned. Do you see that right there? And that will align 
the dimension with the object. Okay? All right. Um, the last dimension I'm going to do is a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to do an angular dimension and I'm going to specify the vertex. I'm going to pick a point there. I'm going to make sure I have ortho on. I'm going to pick a point up a little ways in space. And I'm going to pick a point over here. And that shows the angle right there. I'll do that one more time over here. I'm going to do angular dimension. I'm going to do an enter to specify vertex. I actually have to draw a small vertex on here. That's that, those two, two picks. And um, then I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to pick over here to get this 45 degree dimension in. Okay. All right. So I could throw a few more dimensions on there, but to keep the tutorial moving along, I'm going to be satisfied with that. Let's go back to 8.5 by 11. And I'm just going to adjust by panning this over here a little bit. I'm in the viewport. I want to come back out to paper space. And now I'm ready to finish the drawing. Okay, so I can, from paper space, um, I'm going to call this rotate exercise. And we'll give it an exercise number. Okay? So there you have it. There's rotate. Um, the scale of the drawing is 1 to 2. The dimension scale came in at 1 to 2. And um, we've got it all set up in a layout tab. And it's ready to print or save or whatever you want. Okay? Hope that helps. And I hope you give rotate a try. <laughs>